Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. Today we are doing a loot from 1000 Crystal Keys video. Obviously we're going to dive straight into the video as soon as we can. But just quickly before we do so, I want to thank all of you for everything that you've been offering support wise and the feedback on my m latest video with to do with progression and pushing to get those bigger and better items, the activity in Discord, everything. It's absolutely awesome one final thing before the video starts is i would like to know whether you guys would like to see more of these loot from x amount videos so that a lot of you maybe don't have time or just can't really be bothered to have a look and see if something's worth your time i've done a few videos of like loot from 100 x boss um loot from 100 troves of two of them so far i'm gonna do the other one as well but do let me know your thoughts if you would like to see more videos like that in the future so here I have my 1000 crystal keys. I haven't decided the technique in which I'm going to do this to make sure that we get the exact amount of value from these keys. As you can see on screen, it claims that the value of these keys are a GE value of 20.7 mil. Every single one of these keys has been farmed either through Glacor or through ED4 and pairing up all the half and loop half, sorry, teeth half and loop half of keys. So we haven't purchased a single one of these. So either way, we'll make money. Um, it just depends if we make more than the actual value of the keys. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So I'm not entirely sure how long it took me to get all these crystal keys. Uh, it didn't take too long, I wouldn't imagine, if I had set a goal of going for these specifically and not selling them in the process and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely not taken that long, especially with ED4 helping out a lot now as well. All those loop half and teeth half of keys, it's really nice knowing that you farmed a thousand of an item, like a crystal key, entirely on your own without doing any purchasing of them or anything anything like that at all all of it is your own time put in and your own reward back which is one of the runescape's best things one of the best things about runescape is what that you get out what you put in and it's so so good unless you go really really dry on a drop but we, we, we won't talk about that right now because we're not doing any pvm <laughs> One final thing I really want to share with all of you. I was thinking about doing a continuation of my video where I did some uh, loot from 50 caskets. I've, I really enjoy doing clue scrolls and I really enjoy uh, seeing the potential rewards you can get because they can be so insane. So would you guys mind either going to check that video out, which I'll leave a link to it in the description down below, or just based on what I'm telling you now, would you guys like to see more of that? Obviously, if I enjoy it, I'll still do it, but I don't want to share stuff with you that you're just not going to enjoy. Uh, but I personally think that there's nothing quite like the chance of getting a drop as big as a die is a very exciting idea. So please let me know. Right, so at the moment we are reaching, I think, about the... About the quarter mark now, we're about 250 keys in. Uh, I've actually positioned this uh, window here like this over the chest so that I can just click and click and click. So it's not the most entertaining thing in the world. I am pausing every now and then. I do have the luck of the dwarves on in case that makes any difference at all. But as you can see, if I slow down a little bit here, the, a lot of these values are terrible. I mean, look, right? Like, I mean, okay, the timing bullet, a Dragonstone is 5k, an uncut Dragonstone is 5k each, and then the loot pass, this is 14k, and these keys are valued at 20 each. So I have a feeling we're going to struggle to make the 20 mil value in the 1,000 keys, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep going for now anyway. I might only do the 500 if I don't get anything on the way to 500, so we'll see how it goes. Right, so change of plan, I am definitely going to do the 500 keys first, compare those 500 to the price of the 500 crystal keys, and weigh up the odds then, and then we'll see uh, how, how, how likely I am to do the rest. I mean, eventually I'm going to have to do this to get the drop log, aren't I, for all the dragon armor or whatever it is. I don't know quite what the drop weights are, I'll actually put them on screen. Um, Obviously, while I'm recording this, I don't know, but I'll, I'll we'll know at the same time. Um, I know it's very, very rare, 
and I think a friend of mine has had one of them. Comment down below, guys, if you guys have ever got one of the Dragonstone armor pieces from this chest. Or the, uh, I think the Crystal Triskelions can also give you them as well. Um, but yeah, I've never been fortunate enough. These are Crystal Tree Blossoms. Let's see if another one comes up, by the way. It says they're like 130k in the reward value, but they're not actually tradable at all. So it's a bit annoying that they come up with a wealth of value of 130k because you look at it and go, oh, profit. There you go. So this says here, obviously what that that is 5k and that is 5k each, so 25k. But then this is diddly and it's 134k value. It's crazy. Misleading, Jagex. Very misleading. So anyway, yeah. Comment down below if you guys have ever got one of these rare rewards. I would love to know. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't so far. I will be back soon with my 500 keys done to have a look at the value that we've made from our 500 in comparison to the price of 500 crystal keys. Right, so I have completed my 500 keys. Obviously, the loot that stacks on top of items I already have in the bank, I made a note of every single one. So I will be back with you in a second to work out exactly what loot we got from our crystal keys and add up how much it all costs. Right, so with the power of maths and a calculator, uh, not myself, not intelligent enough, this is how much we made. So as you can see, we actually have almost, um, we have 37 complete crystal keys again. Uh, all of this is from the 500 keys, okay? Every single piece of this. So 7.3 mil. Now, let's have a look at how much 500 crystal keys is worth. 10.3. So actually, we have lost 3 mil in value using the crystal keys. Now, of course, using a crystal key is meant to be a gamble. And I would like to try my luck at getting one of these rare pieces. So, of course, I'm going to continue. <laughs> I'll be back with you when I complete the final 500 keys. So on a side note everybody, if you guys enjoyed this video, I will farm up a further 1000 crystal keys. Uh, of course because there's another crystal chest that we can use that has an actually entirely different drop table which is in Tavoli. Now again, more than happy to do it there. I wanted to use Prif as it was the logical choice, you know, when I was when I started doing all of the quest chain uh, to get to Prif, when you learn about all these things like the Seren stones and the crystal chest that has a better drop weight and all this sort of stuff that's in Prif, you get really excited about, right? So as soon as you find out that you've got crystal keys, the, the first thing you think of is Prifdana's crystal chest. Um, so th obviously that's where I'm doing it now. More than happy to do this again in Tavoli if you guys would like to see like a part two to uh, our crystal keys worth it. I think that's probably what is a good way to label this video. Uh, I've, I've checked the wiki and apparently your chances of gaining or losing money in Prif is 1.9k either way based on the GE value of the key. Uh, of course we are massively under that and we are actually putting that to the test right now because we are getting absolutely screwed uh, so far compared to the actual value of the key. So let me know if you do want a part two for Tavoli, another thousand crystal keys. I'd be more than happy to make it. Drop a comment in the comments down below if you would like to see it. All I can say is thank the Lord for salvage because salvage is where all my money is coming from right now. Uh, I'm going to end up with loads of crystal keys again. But yeah, the salvages are saving the day right now massively. I wonder if we can get lucky enough. I don't actually know what the drop rates are. I'll have to check them up after this. So we are now closing in on our final keys. As you can see, I've got a full inventory and eight inside the pack yak. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to pick ourselves up any rares, but again, once I've done this, I will let you know how much we've made and the ratio to profit or loss in comparison to the price of our 1000 crystal keys. So I'll be back with you in a second to break down everything.
Right, so, in the recording of this, I actually made a huge mistake and actually, at the 500 mark, completely forgot to weigh up the value of the dragon stones. I actually left them in the bank and took everything else into account. So, our current amount of value, after a thousand keys, just in the dragon stones, is 5.2 mil. So, if I now add all of it together, we actually find out that we made a profit. That is also including the fact that we've got a few items that you can use around Prif that can be quite helpful. So actually, this was well, well, well worth our time. Uh, obviously, monetary value, we actually made the most amount of money from our large plated rune salvage coming in at 5.3 mil. The other salvage came in at 4.1. Our dragon stones, 5.2 our other salvage 1.6 and the lanterdines 1.6 as well so to sum up just how much we made and the difference between keeping the crystal keys as they are presuming that they sell for their value um and how much we made from opening them so that if you remember from the beginning of the video the cost of the keys were 20.7 mil and the amount we ended up with was 21 and a half mil so we actually made ourselves a profit of 756k so it's not a great big profit but it's definitely it's still a profit and of course in and amongst that we constantly have although be a very rare chance to get other items that could massively increase that so there you have it everyone, that is the breakdown of 1000 crystal keys opened in Prif. If you would like to see a part 2 and I'll do 1000 keys in Tavoli because they do actually have a different drop table, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.